I'm equipment editor Jim Park. We're in Schaumburg, Illinois at the Bobbitt Business Media's Fleet Safety Conference. Earlier this morning we had a rather sobering presentation by the transportation people at the Department of Homeland Security. They were talking about certain anti-terrorism measures that trucking can take to prevent calamities like we've seen around the world in recent years from truck rammings to truck bombings to tunnel bombings and uh, releases of hazardous materials in strategic areas. As part of the presentation they moved everybody outside and had a couple of vehicles positioned out there uh, with some potentially explosive devices, dummies of course, uh, mounted on the vehicle. The challenge was for the uh, participants to find them using mirrors and good old-fashioned sleuthing techniques. Here's Danny McGuire from the Department of Homeland Security to explain some of the threats that exist against the trucking industry right now and some of the steps trucking can take to mitigate those threats. My name is Danny McGuire. I'm a explosive specialist with TSA. I've been there for seven years, former police officer. The threats right now to our trucking industry are very, very low, uh, but that doesn't mean the possibility isn't there. As we've seen over in France, where people just take the opportunity to take a truck and, and use it to ram people, and that is the latest thing being done with trucks is ramming. Uh, there are publications set out by Department of Homeland Security, TSA, about ramming, about improvised explosive devices, and uh, the threat is very, very possible here in the United States. There have been a number of arrests over the last 10 years uh, for threats to bridges, tunnels, and highway safety. Anybody thinks that trucking is immune to these problems in North America? They're dreaming. It's just a matter of time until something happens here. Motor vehicle carriers, uh, freight carriers, especially tanker carriers, it is very, very important to screen your people, uh, make sure that uh, you have a background on them, that it hasn't been falsified. Uh, this, is, this is utmost as far as hiring uh, in chemical and hazardous materials, uh, as well as just everyday products. The whole idea with terrorism is to disrupt. They don't need to kill, all they want to do is disrupt this industry and uh, to, for motor vehicle carriers to be vigilant uh, in keeping track of their vehicles, keeping track of their personnel, uh, this is paramount for this industry. It was an interesting exercise, people learned a lot and there were lots of ums and ahs going on and people were going, geez, you know, maybe we should take this threat pretty seriously. If there's any information you need, the Department of Homeland Security has a lot of resources online and it's easy to reach out to them for more training for your staff as well. I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park at the Bobbitt Business Media Fleet Safety Conference in Schaumburg, Illinois.